Welcome everyone to our second chapter on Svelte 5. Today, we are diving into getting started with Svelte 5. We'll walk you through your first steps in this exciting new version of Svelte. Let's start by setting up a Svelte 5 project. It's a straightforward process. Open your terminal and run npm create Svelte at latest My Svelte 5 app. During the setup, make sure to select the options for Svelte 5. Once that's done, navigate into your new project folder with cd My Svelte 5 app. Install the dependencies by running npm install. Finally, start your development server with npm run dev. And just like that, you've got a Svelte 5 project up and running. Here is commands we run to get Svelte 5 up and running. Now, let's look at the basic structure of a Svelte 5 component. Here's a simple example. Notice the dollar state room. This is how we declare reactive variables in Svelte 5. When the value of name changes, Svelte automatically updates the DOM. It's that simple. For those of you coming from Svelte 4, let's talk about migration. There are a few key differences to keep in mind. We now use dollar state for reactive variables instead of plain let declarations. Dollar derived replaces the dollar. Syntax for computed values. Event handlers have changed. For example, we now use onClick instead of on click. The great news is that you can mix old and new syntax in the same app, allowing for gradual migration. Let's look at a side by side comparison of Svelte 4 and Svelte 5 syntax. On the left, we have Svelte 4 code. And on the right, the equivalent Svelte 5 code. As you can see, the changes are minimal but powerful. The new syntax makes reactivity more explicit and easier to understand. Let's quickly recap what we've covered so far. Setting up a Svelte 5 project is quick and easy. The new syntax with runes makes reactivity explicit and intuitive. Migration from Svelte 4 can be done gradually allowing you to mix old and new syntax. Svelte 5 offers improved performance and flexibility compared to its predecessor. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more updates. See you in the next one.